What are the drawbacks of a reverse 1031 exchange? It's not all rainbows, butterflies, I'm sure. The main drawback of a 1031, a reverse 1031, is where does the money come from mm -hmm. for you to purchase something prior to selling what you have? And additionally, while the property is parked, most traditional lenders are not gonna put long-term financing on a property that has a temporary title situation. Mm -hmm. So it can be difficult to get long-term financing. And so you have to figure out where that money can come from. Got it. If someone is wealthy and has the ability to write a check, no mm -hmm. problem. But not everyone's in that situation. Some of our clients can, but certainly some cannot. And it's reasonable. So a lot of times you have to get some kind of bridge lending, hard money lending, or some other type of alternative financing in order to purchase that replacement property. There's a number of good options that are out there, but most of them aren't super cheap, right? You're looking at high single digits, low double digits on the interest rate. Mm -hmm. Points on the loan, prepayments, things points, like that. Points anywhere from one to two points. Often that cost is significantly less than paying taxes. I think a lot of people really are weighing their options when they it comes down to this. Do I have the money sitting idle, ready to buy a property before I sell another one? You need to find out if you're qualified first and if this isn't even an option for you. But it can be, it can be so powerful.